Chef Marcus Samuelson is here, and we're so excited about it. Come on in, How are Chef. You? I'm so good. I'm, I'm super excited so to happy. be here. Yes, we can start getting celebrity chefs back in the house. Yes. Now, he's going to be making a roasted tiger shrimp dish for us from your Montreal restaurant, Marcus. Mm -hmm. I have been, I went with my family in 2020. We went for a little road trip. When, fancy. Yeah, it was a little fancy. Staying at the Four Seasons. We at the yes. Four Seasons. Yes. Because they had really good, I mean, and they still do at the time, but really good COVID protocol, yep. which I think all of the establishments need to have. Mm -hmm. But the Food, well, chef. Great, right? Yes. Do yes, I blame yes. you now for the 11 year old that's addicted to uh, seafood I towers? That. I love that that she has such a like fine dining yes. thing. That's amazing. The seafood tower is amazing. And you know what? I'm so happy to, you know, be back in Toronto. I've cooked here a bunch of times and be able to cook with Chef Danielle is really, really exciting. We are going to talk about that. So uh, Chef Samuelson, uh, Chef Baloud yes. are working together in a collaboration. You got like two shining stars mm. and culinary icons, which is incredible. Before we get into that collabo, let's talk about this recipe, very much inspired by your, uh, your, your childhood in, yeah. and Sweden I grew up in and growing Sweden. up in Sweden. Yeah. I grew up in Sweden. I grew up on an island, so seafood was everywhere. And just simple things like grilling seafood, whether it was mackerel, whether it was shrimp, yeah. just put it on in a pan. And you know what? When you grill seafood, you want to make sure you have a hot pan. You want to kind of just drizzle a little bit of olive oil into the pan. The good stuff? Yeah, the good stuff. Okay. And then just I'm just adding a little bit of salt into the pan too. So you want to hear that sizzle, just like a little sizzle like that. And also, I don't put the shrimp close to one another because they're already... They don't like each other. They don't like each other. Keep them away from one another, right? <laughs> Does this, it help them cook better if they're a little bit apart? Yes, because you want to create space so the heat is right. And also with shrimp, you want to make sure they're dry, right? Yes. And I'm going to put this beautiful spice blend on. It's called togarashi. Togarashi. How would that taste? Togarashi has a little bit of heat. It has chilies with a little bit of nori, you know, the green stuff mm. that you would eat sushi, uh, sushi very often. Mm -hmm. And also, you know... I love to put just smoked paprika, just, you know, you get the same type of kind of feel, but okay. because we're fancy, we're adding on some togarashi and I'm se seasoning from up high. We get really excited when we have uh, folks like you that have so much international experience yeah. and, and, and bringing it all and keeping it all here because the togarashi is Japanese. Togarashi is Japanese. You've lived in Japan. I worked in Japan. I worked yeah. in France. I worked in Switzerland. That's and beautiful. I and I can bring all those experiences with me to my yeah. cuisine, right? Beautiful. Look at that. You just want to kind of just turn it over like this. Yeah. It's simple. It's delicious. You know, one of the things that I love about cooking is that it's really collaboration, right? Yeah. And it's been such a difficult time for hospitality. Right. So for us to come back and do collaborations and to, to have teams to meet again and, you know, so we can really bring guests back together for fun events, but yep. also staff, you know. It's been really, really hard on staff and restaurants. Um, so this is, it's really, truly a privilege to, to do things like this again. Yeah, to be able to come together again. And it's interesting because when, you know, the road trips we took across Ontario and mm -hmm. Quebec, so many of the restaurants we went to are short-staffed because mm -hmm. so much of the staff had to go and find alternate ways of making money because the restaurants were open, close, open, close. Open, close, open, close. It's, you know, it's an awful way to run a business when you cannot open half the time. Mm -hmm. So have you had any difficulty trying to retain some of that amazing stuff that you had pre-pandemic? I mean, I think challenges, has been, it's been challenging for every industry, for all of yeah. us, right? Yeah, it's yeah. very, very difficult, but I, I just think that now when we start to open it back up again, you know, it's just amazing to see people together. I was lucky enough to go to the a Raptors game. Nice. Uh, somebody gave me like Drake tickets. It was amazing. It was courtside. But, but drink tickets. No, it wasn't Drake tickets, but it was courtside. Listen, but I'm seeing point... people bring their bottles to courtside games. Is that something that I, I didn't can see? Do I was if so I go? excited just to be there. But my point was, it was amazing to see a stadium full of people. Yes. And that you know, it's all a sign of we're coming back, and That's we right. need that just as the emotional awareness to be together again and celebrate yeah. it's so big and, you people know, need people and i think that a lot of us realized that absolutely. when we were you know having to stay away from each other so i want to get back to the shrimp for a second yeah uh, you chose this shrimp, why? And also for the folks at home that think shrimp is way too fancy, I would never do it. Look at how easy it is to create. Yeah, it's super easy. It takes like about a minute or so and it gives you that nice... It cooks text. quickly. It cooks super quick. Yeah. And, you know, I just think it's super delicious. And if you don't like shrimp, maybe you want to do it with salmon or maybe you want to do it with a halibut. But scallops. I love scallops are yeah. great as well. Absolutely. So we just, you can tell also when they're done, right? You look yeah. at this, you can see that they're almost done. And now I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this lime juice on top. And the whole studio 
It's going to be smoky. It's the best facial ever. Yes, it My is. My favorite, shrimp. Look at that. Boom. So Let's very springtime. You've yes. got a bit of avocado happening here. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have to tell us what this is. Uh, this is uh, my tomatilla salsa, just a little mm. bit of tomatilla that we blend. For me, it's all about flavors and making sure that the dish works together That's and pretty. super delicious. And it's also easy to make. It's springtime. People want to yeah. be outside. Absolutely. You know? Okay, so tell me a little bit about working with uh, Chef Balloon. Do you guys work together a lot? We do. I mean, Danielle is a, he's been a big mentor all my life. When I came to the States, he was one of the first chefs that really helped me out. Oh, and nice. he's such an example, you know, setting such a high standard and such an inspiration. Yeah. It's always an honor to work with Chef uh, Danielle. Mm -hmm. And to be able to do it, uh, the fact that we're, we both have restaurants with the Four Seasons, it's really uh, a dream come true. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm going to squeeze a little bit more. Why not? Lime, lemon juice or lime juice on top of this. It gives it that spring freshness. And we're going to make your daughter jealous <laughs> because mom... I'm not letting is, her watch yeah, this. Are you kidding me? I'm going to have to make this at home. <laughs> and you see, he makes it look very easy. Very and it's easy. It's not very difficult. You really just need the quality ingredients to make sure it's fresh.